Hello there everybody, my name is Dean, I'm the guy from the Getty 92 channel and you know what, it's a new week so therefore we have to do another Love Bites video, another Love Bites song and this one was actually recommended on last week's episode, A Frozen Serenade. Another live version, live at home, so let's check out some more power energy by Love Bites, shall we? Let's do it. And you guys know me, you know me very well from the few videos I did about Love Bites. You know me, I'm a rock and roll guy and that is exactly what I needed for this week. That's actually a cool, cool melody there so far. And I and I hope and I somehow sense that they will go crazy in a few minutes there, but I'm kind of like excited for that. That was crazy playing there, fast and crazy playing. I want to listen to that again. Yeah. No freaking way. No. You guys know me.
I mean, just how cool is that? Sitting yeah, on the piano and having a guitar strapped on your body. I mean, you just can't get cooler than that. I wasn't too satisfied about how um, the structure was going there when the solo ended and the vocals began again to, uh, because I'm an honest guy I don't like everything I'm just seeing and whenever I see something that I don't like I say it as well and I didn't like that much the the sick way or sequence that it was, it was going after the solo into the vocals it just sounds the cat is in the background if you hear that cat. Um, it just sounds different. <laughs> a really interesting song and that is kind of like my new style there everybody when when you are here for the first time or when that's the style you're going to see now but my new style of reacting to certain videos are, is uh, to watch the full video and then get to the review while having the band actually playing their muted there to see much more of actually the performance what, what these uh, fine women are doing there and first of all let me let me tell you guys and um, I'm, I'm really happy that you guys know me a lot better than I thought you would be because it again featured some great and awesome piano stuff in there which I didn't expect it at all I knew in some way in a sense for for the first seconds there all right that would be a straight rock driven song there in, in in the tempo of a middle tempo there as for the fastness and I would assume there would be some crazy stuff as well the typical love bite stuff coming on with the heavy shredding but I didn't expect it at all that tremendous cool piano solo there i mean that was a bridge that was totally unexpected and totally different than i would have ever imagined what that song would sound like for six and a half six minutes uh, 50 seconds uh, a song so therefore this is kind of like really interesting there in, in, in so many ways because i thought at least uh, that we would have discovered the the um the variety of of what love bites could offer you as a listener there with their um, normal mellow stuff there and going into the heavy shredding and uh, as well having some songs on there that's 
starts with actually with the keys and then they will go crazy again. But this again is another side, another facet of, of Love Bites that I wasn't expecting at all that they would put out such a great phenomenal song. As usual for the vocals there, I couldn't understand them. Therefore, I'm again really glad if you would post the vocals there so that I can read the, the lyrics properly. Um, the stage performance was, as we now see again, they're unmuted, which which is kind of like cool to check out a band which is muted to feel really fully understand and feel the tension and the vibes while playing that certain song live there. And as for the bridge, again, totally unexpected. Um, the, the stage performance of the singer there was totally unexpected as well. And then all of a sudden there comes that kind of like non-surprise thing with Love Bites, which was actually now surprising on this song with the heavy shredding there. Um, and as, as I said it again, and I will say it again a thousand times, I'm hashtag Team Midori there because she was playing again some crazy stuff there. And I just feel somehow attracted to her sound, to her general tone there. There's just something about Midori there that um, really grabs my interest at any time I see her playing or performing a particular solo or doing the doing the rhythm work there. So therefore I'm really much in huge love for Team Midori um, as for the tone and the sound of the guitar. That was that was really great. Uh, and I'm just uh, seeing that uh, bass player there again, sadly don't know her name, but um, she's playing some mean bass there. I mean, she and Geddy of Rush live on stage together. I mean, that would be crazy. I would even love to see a mashup with the uh, women from Love Bites and uh, with Alex and Geddy of Rush uh, playing together at least one song there. I mean, that would sound really interesting because that would uh, be tremendous. I mean, just think about the drum parts there. And I mean, I totally get you with Haruna. She's excellent. She's great. And she is really, really skilled. I mean, she's on her own level. If there were bad drummers, medium drummers, good drummers, or freaking awesome drummers, and then there would be Haruna in, in some way floating around on that area there. And um, we, we are just seeing there again the bridge and it's just phenomenal. I, I, I'm totally in love with that song. And I, I just forgot almost about talking about the acoustic guitar. Um, that was just so unexpected and amazing. Keys and acoustic guitar at the same time. And in general, an acoustic guitar on a Love Bites song is surprisingly cool for me. And I mean, just look at that stage performance there with all the fake snow going down there. Just crazy. Just crazy, cool, effing freaking song. Stage performance was awesome. The t total tone of the song actually with all those different, not too many different parts in this particular one. Um, I want to get that straight out there. Not too many crazy different parts, but the parts that are played there are played really well. The only kind of like disappointing thing that I found on this song and I told you, which will happen now soon after the solo of my beloved hashtag Team Midori member there, is um, the, the thing after the solo when the vocals started again. I do think it somehow could have been done slightly better in terms of the tone to to have uh, a tone that goes like this um, because I'm lacking the words of English right now um, but what they were doing here was playing that solo and making a sudden cut and then starting the vocals and you can clearly hear that sudden cut after the solo when the uh, vocals begin again and I thought this would have been slightly better if the solo was going into the vocals at least for one and a half or two seconds there with a standing high tone something like that i would have recommended that when i would have been the producer there but other than that i mean that's just a minor 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 thing there um but you know I, i'm not that kind of a reactor who is uh, just saying oh yeah that's great music or oh, that's cool or oh, that the women the women there are oh, the women doing metal music please try to avoid those guys who are saying oh look look at that there are women playing metal i hate those reactor guys um but in general just a great song again a great song and i'm really looking forward to the transylvania song I'm, I'm not sure if it's called the winds of transylvania i mean i'm a huge vampire fan I don't know why, because German culture works different and uh, you kind of like grow, grow up with some vampire stuff, Dracula stuff and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to The Winds of Transylvania, if that's the, the right name for that song. I will do that uh, 
anytime soon next week. We're really looking forward to that because um, I do sense in some way that uh, Graf Dracula or Count Dracula has returned. So again, another great song of uh, Love Bites. Thank you for recommending that because that song has everything in it that I actually love about Love Bites. Keys, cool stage performance, cool solos. Timidori, a uh, great one playing there in general and um, so therefore thank you guys as always for recommending me this particular special song and we're looking forward to the other songs that you're recommending to me because you know you guys and i said it before here on the video you guys probably know me better than i thought you would know me and that's just an amazing thing there so i um, we're looking forward to the winds of transylvania and uh, thanks as always for tuning in to check out some Love Bites material and to check out that dumb reactor from Germany who is lacking in the words of English but still somehow enjoys good music. So thanks guys as usual. Have a great day or great night depending on the area you are living in on this beautiful planet called Earth. And see you on the next episodes on Love Bites. Thanks and bye.